ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashafi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today it was given to some amendments to the meghalaya building bylaws 2021 for sustainable urban development in meghalaya these uh, amendments are being done in line with uh, certain uh, provisions and certain conditions Kijingalang kinhul menteri sarkar kebala long menda kesengi kandai trik urampang kelai kijing menjuri kijing pin kelah halo kemeghalia building by laws araja arphoi nak benta ban krishan nek urban development haga jila meghalia bakaran chikila pasai kubor kontrak ke sangmau lo ong bakenik amendment labuk lang renti ban kijinan kam jong ke sarkar kemi ban penti kenai ke jong long singa jong ke yeng kesem today in the cabinet uh, we had uh, five formal items that were discussed and cleared uh the first was the draft uh, governor's address for 2024 so that was of course shared with the cabinet and uh, it has been approved so that was the first item the second was the ordinance uh, that was done earlier of the meghalaya fiscal responsibility and budget management act 2006 if you recall that we had put an ordinance to it a few months back that ordinance and others which all also follow but uh, this particular ordinance was taken up today uh, i mean an ordinance which was already cleared earlier was taken up to be now uh, put in as a format of a bill So the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006 that has been uh, formally now approved as a bill, which will be taken up in the assembly. Uh, the third was that uh, the Meghalaya Engineering Public Works Department Service Rules 1995 uh, that had to be amended uh, because certain changes were there, or many changes rather were there. Um, so instead of amending it. Uh, we have come out uh, with fresh rules and hence uh, we have uh, uh, scrapped the old rules and uh, we have brought in the new rules basically we could have gone with amendment also but as i said the amendments there were so many of them that it would be easier to just simply come up with the uh, fresh set of rules so today the meghalaya engineering public works department service rules 2024 has been approved by the cabinet uh the fourth was the uh approval that was given to some amendments to the meghalaya building bylaws 2021 for sustainable urban development in meghalaya these uh, amendments are being done in line with uh, certain uh, provisions and certain conditions uh that has been put in by government of india number 1 and also uh to ensure that overall safety uh of the buildings are there and uh, also to ensure that uh, the smaller land holdings there could be more utilization of the land uh by small land uh, owners uh, because earlier there were some restrictions in terms of the uh, the uh, the gap that you had to leave uh, from the front and the rear and the sides and so that has been reduced uh, and some other amendments have been made uh, for example to the height of the buildings that are permissible and also to the construction of uh, buildings in areas which are uh, 50 degrees and uh, higher slopes uh, certain provisions will apply um, so those kind of amendments have been made um, if i if you wish to make and give more details later uh and the last was regarding the approval of the shillong urban uh, mobility policy 2024 was also cleared uh basically this again is uh, uh in line with the government of india where uh, in to in ensure that the overall mobility in shillong improves uh a policy has to be created and uh, we have cleared that policy today and this includes aspects of public uh, transportation Uh, creating uh, more walking space um reducing the congestions and um, 
creating uh, parking spaces, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, there are many, many other provisions. So this policy just gives an outline on how we will approach that. Uh, and this was clear today by the cabinet. Uh, but most importantly, I would like to mention that um, both the amendment to the Meghalaya Building Bylaws 2021 and the Shillong Urban Mobility Policy 2024 uh, these amendments and these particular policies have also been adopted with the intention of uh, also ensuring that we are able to avail uh, the special assistant on capital investment for urban areas. As you are aware that Government of India has uh, uh, earmarked 15,000 crores for, as special assistance for capital investment, uh, especially for urban uh, areas. And uh, in that, uh, there are certain guidelines that need to be followed, certain policies need to be created, uh, certain homework to be done. Uh, so keeping all of those things in mind, all these things have been done. And I'm happy to inform you that uh, out of the 15,000 crores, we have put in a proposal of 619 crores from Meghalaya's point of view. And uh, we have already received uh, approval for close to 500 crores out of this. And we're expecting uh, another 100 crores to come in. Uh, after these approvals and these uh, amendments are done. Uh, so we are expecting that Meghalaya should receive 597 crores. Uh, but uh, even if the 100 crores is uh, still pending, we are expected to get 497, almost 500 crores uh, from the Special Assistant on Capital Investment for Urban uh, in this particular uh, financial year. Uh, what is more important to note also is that uh, uh, even larger states like uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, larger states like Assam also are receiving roughly about 500 crores, which is the same as what Meghalaya is, is expected to receive. So hence, uh, uh, we have been working very hard and the Urban Affairs Department has worked very hard. And as I said, we are able to um, get some additional funds for the overall development of Shillong uh, and other urban areas. Uh, this is the same fund that will be utilized for things like the River Fund uh, you know, improvement that we had inaugurated the other day. Uh, we had laid the foundation stone the other day, some parking lots to be created, some walkways to be created. Uh, so, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, we have put in a number of proposals for that also. So, these were the basic decisions that were taken in the cabinet today.